Thank you for standing by and welcome to the MBDA Virtual Substance Sandwiches webinar. My name is Gabriela Zambrano and I'm the director of the Houston MBDA Business Center. This is our sixth year of offering substance sandwiches and our third year with DPR construction. During today's uh, webinar, attendees will be in a listen-only mode. There will be a Q&A session at the end of today's phone call. Uh, sorry. My colleague, Mark Prag is going to monitor the Q&As. If you have any questions during the presentation, you may submit it online by entering in the Q&A panel. As a reminder, this presentation is being recorded and it will be available via email with the participants. Now I'd like to introduce my colleagues, Mark Prag and Deidre Sutton, business advisor, and our office manager, Jessica Vasquez. Our next MBDA event is Virtual Substance Sandwich with Morganti, Texas. It will be held on Wednesday, October 14, 2020, beginning at 11.30 a.m. We'll have the opportunity to interact with Morganti, Texas and learn about upcoming construction opportunities. Today, we have the pleasure to meet with DPR Construction. This is how the event will go. DPR will introduce himself and then make a presentation. After the presentation, the participant will introduce themselves and briefly describe what they self-perform in 30 seconds. Then we'll break into questions and answer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Micah Crawford. There we go. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, finally got myself <laughs> off mute there. Um, so yeah, so this is our third year doing the Subs and Sandwiches event, and it's uh, been great. This is going to be a different one, of course, because we're going to virtually eat our sandwiches, I suppose. So <laughs> everyone grab your, grab your food. Um, so anyway, DPR started in 1990. Um, three guys that made up the DPR, Doug, Peter, and Ron out of California. Currently, we have 27 offices in the U.S. and three international, um, Amsterdam, uh, Korea, and, and Singapore. Uh, the core markets we tend to tailor, tailor to are the commercial, healthcare, uh, higher education, and life sciences. Um, so we're always looking for opportunities to work with minorities, um, you know, just to bridge that gap in any way we can is, is basically what we would like to try to accomplish by partnering with you guys. So um, we're definitely looking forward to um, any relationships that develop from this particular uh, training event. So we have a couple of people online. You can probably go to the next slide here. We have uh, Sarah Hinojosa, Lake Myers. I don't know if Sean Scott was able to join. We have Dee Watson and Jacob Williams. And if you don't see anyone's faces, because we're actually having a lot of internet issues throughout the uh, the city here, so unfortunately, maybe someone's missing, then that would be the reason why. But everyone should be on the line and able to answer any questions for you guys. So we have a list of opportunities that are coming up um, that you may be interested in. And um, all of the people online will be able to speak to some of them, um, as well as answer, like I said, all the questions. Um, so Jacob, maybe you want to take this particular slide because you can probably speak to the projects more than I could. Yeah, um, so Sinvita is a project that we uh, walked yesterday is coming up in the next few weeks. Um, it's a 4,000 square foot lab remodel. Um, a lot a lot of these are, are remodels or or TIs are, would probably be a good fit for a lot of people here. Um, West Wayne Tower Plaza deck renovation, that's a project that uh, uh, we've been chasing after for a little bit. It's a, a plaza renovation over in Greenway. It will be our project and there's a, a lot of it's uh, some uh, deck work, but also you know uh, new uh, electric and gas requirements um as well as a, a few other bits and ends um st joe uh we've got a couple of small jobs uh, you know some remodels and ti's coming up at the end of the year um and then uh regarding hca we do a lot of work with them and 
they've recently announced that uh, new projects moving forward will have a, a, a hub threshold to meet. Um, so we don't we don't have all the details on that so far what that level is, but uh, it'll uh, definitely drive the decisions moving forward there. Awesome. Thank you, Jacob. So if anybody from DPR would like to take the next step by just introducing yourself and kind of explain what you is that, what it is that you do for DPR so everyone on the line can understand exactly what questions they need to maybe need to ask you um, so they can tailor those questions accordingly. Sure, I'll go ahead, Micah. So my name is Sarah Inahosa. I've been with DPR for two years now, I actually just hit my two year anniversary. And I started off as a project engineer and then transitioned about a year ago into the um, estimating and pre-construction department. So I, I work with Jacob um, pretty closely and I've been learning a lot from them. And I'm excited to learn um, about you guys and what you guys can do for us and hopefully work with you guys in the future. Do you want to go? Hi, my name is Dee Watson. I started with DPR about three years ago as a project engineer, as Sarah did as well. And I am now in the insurance coordinator role, and I also handle compliance for projects um, that have DBRA and um, hub and minority participation requirements. Um, so I, I guess you can see here at DPR, we all wear multiple hats and we're all full of information. So any questions you guys have, we're very happy to answer and we hope to get you guys on board with us. All right, Blake. Hey guys, um, I'm Blake. Uh, I do not have video on because I'm working off my hotspot here. Uh, internet's been kind of spotty at the house. So I'm trying to stay connected as best I can. Uh, I started in the field with DPR three years ago, just uh, a couple weeks ago, I hit the three year anniversary mark and um, I was doing some hospital work and then I moved into pre-construction for about a year and a half. And now I'm actually back in the field doing project engineer role for some larger projects and then a little more of a project manager role for some smaller jobs as well. So um, again, like Dee was saying, definitely a lot of hats uh, looking to hear what who we got on the uh, call today and what kind of services are provided. Jacob, I know you spoke already, but you want to give yourself a quick intro on what you do? Uh, yeah, um, Jacob Williams, I've been with DPR for about a year and a half now. Uh, came in on the, the pre-con side and it's where I've been so far. Um, so like Sarah mentioned, uh, work, work a lot with her and then with the rest of our pre-con team. And in particular, uh, for for this uh, uh, call, um, I uh, manage our our uh, bid uh, bid database. So at the end of this, um, uh, anybody that is interested in getting our bid list, um, I'll provide some information to you guys and uh, uh, get you all going on that. Thanks, guys. And just for everyone's information, I'm Micah Crawford, and I have been with DPR almost four years now. Um, I'm in the role of a project accountant, but I'm also like what I like to call myself a diversity liaison um, to try to incorporate as many minority subcontractors with DPR as I can. So that's um, my spiel. So I'm going to, again, I'm an accountant, but if you have any accounting related questions, I'm happy to ask. Other than that, I'm going to be on mute. All right, the next slide is just the contact list. So if anybody needs to reach out to anyone, they can. Um, Jacob is probably going to be the main guy you would want to speak with us. He's already acknowledged. Um, but overall, you can reach out to any one of these individuals for assistance. Well, thank you very much. Um, so I think the next step right now is just introduced to the participants. So I think they are uh, pretty adapt and I'll try my best to uh, work with them, but they know exactly uh, you guys need to be ready. Make sure your uh, microphone is on mute and in 30 seconds or less, please state your name and your company and briefly describe what your company self perform. So I'm gonna go with um, the first one, which is Alexander. 
Alexander, you ready? Alexander Morales, I believe. Oh, Alexander, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Great. Yeah. So, yeah, my name is Alex Morales. I'm with the American Institute of Steel Construction, and we're a not for profit organization uh, that's basically out to help contractors on anything steel related, whether it's scheduling, procurement, or costing, or really feasibility studies. So, these are at no cost to the industry. So, I'm glad to be here and to learn more about what DPR has. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alexander. Okay, next person is Anne Lipka. Are you there, Anne? Anna? Hello, Anne, are you there? Okay, we're gonna go to the next person. So the next one, I know it's uh, somebody's call online. There's only one person, it's 281, the number. Can you say hello? Yeah, I believe that's me, David Sullivan with Certa Pro Painters of West Houston. Oh, well, welcome, David. Thank you for joining us. Uh -huh. uh, basically, we're just doing a commercial, interested in getting into knowing what DPR does and uh, maybe doing some work. So. All right, well, welcome, David. Next one is Cherie Johnson. Cherie, are you there? I'm here. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Sharice Johnson. Uh, I'm with RSI Systems. We're based right here in Houston, Texas. Uh, we're a technology solutions uh, provider. Uh, we provide Wi-Fi services. Uh, anything dealing with technology, we handle it. Um, we are a, once, once again, low voltage electrical company. So anything low voltage, we handle that um, regionally as well as we do go outside of Texas as well. All right, well, welcome, Sharice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next person is Glenn Gelder. Are you ready, Glenn? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. Uh, hello, Glenn Gelder with Laser Acoustics, a subcontractor based here in Houston. We specialize in acoustical ceilings, acoustical wall panels, uh, basically any specialty, specialty ceiling work. All right, well, welcome, Glenn. I appreciate it. Next person is Helen Collier. Helen, are you there? Helen, are you there, Helen? I know you've been unmuting, unmuting yourself. Okay, gonna go to the next person. Hello, Helen, can you hear us? Okay. Lisa Tori, are you ready, Lisa? Hello, Lisa, are you there? I'm gonna go to the next person. Manuel Zamora, are you there, Manuel? Uh, I am, I am his wife, Jerry Zamora. We own Home Base Repairs and he's we are general contractor, primarily serving the residential market, but we perform several construction trade services, and uh, especially in painting and drywall. Well, welcome, Gary. Sorry, that's the name that he was registered. Thank you so much for joining us. Misty Lucas, are you there, Misty? Good morning. Hello. Yes, Good morning. I'm here. Uh, my name is Misty Lucas, and I am one of the partners with uh, TREP Development and Construction. We are a general contracting firm, and we mainly service residential, new build, new construction, or remodeling, but we do some commercial on a small scale. And we specialize in all trades of construction. So from drywall, flooring, um, HVAC installation, electrical, you name it, we can do it. All right, well, welcome, Misty. I appreciate it. Rosaline Wyatt, are you there, Rosaline? Hi, how are you? Hi. My name is Rosalind Wyatt, and I am with Green Nexus Consulting. We are a green building 
and sustainability uh, consulting service. We do project management for any kind of green building certification, including LEED, well, sites, uh, living building challenge, you name it. Uh, we work on it. We, all, we do new construction and we do uh, the greening of existing buildings. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Next part. So I think Susan, are you ready, Susan? Susan Repka. Uh, yes. Good morning. I'm Susan Repka with SMR Business Services. Um, I help companies that are interested in doing business with the government prepare their um, response to an RFP, as well as capability statements, as well and certification. All right. Well, welcome, Suzanne. Wesley Bittler, are you there, Wesley? Oh. Can you hear me, Wesley? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go ahead. Hello, I'm Wesley Bittler. I'm filling in for Ms. Frances Bittler, who owns B&H Industrial Electrical Construction and Maintenance, Inc. We provide a needs in electrical instrumentation, construction, commissioning, to start up, demo, remodel, and maintenance. All right, thank you. Um, just going to go with a couple of people that they say their microphone was off, so let's go again. And this is the last time. Lisa Tori, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Oh, yay. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Computer glitch there. Hi, I'm Lisa Tori. I'm with Boulder Designs by TLI. And uh, we're a, a local uh, certified uh, with MBE, WBE, SBE, and HUB. And we provide eco-friendly, custom-made signage, uh, outdoor signage for uh, their, their very weather um, weather friendly and um, wind friendly. So I uh, would love to speak to anybody who uh, is looking for uh, outdoor uh, commercial signage. All right, well, thank you, Lisa. And then we have one more person that said that their microphone, so this is the last time again. Helen Collier, are you there? Are you ready? Hello, Helen. And Helen, can you hear us? Okay, well, we try, Helen. Sorry. Okay, Mark, it's your turn now. Mark, are you there? I suppose it would help if I unmuted, you know. Um, yeah, that's a trick. <laughs> that's a trick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, our first person is Annalie Lipka. Uh, she doesn't have a microphone today, uh, but she's a building contractor, woman owned small business. Uh, then we have Helen Collier with Permit Us Now. We are a one stop building permitting firm that helps contractors save time and money plus start construction in a timely way. We work across uh, Houston on commercial projects of all kinds. Um, and she goes on to say, um, we met at the NAMAC event in February this year and followed up, love to help with your building permits, www.permitusnow.com. Um, so those are my only questions at the moment. Um, unless, uh, we'll keep it open for uh, a minute or two and see if anyone else, um, uh, chimes in, but, um, so, um, Sarah, uh, are you unmuted? Yes, me. Um, so in, in, your, in your estimation, what, what creates for a successful bid? What do you like to see in your bid? Of course, you want people to be responsive to what they're being asked for, but are there little steps you can provide? Yeah, I know that on our end, the more information that you can provide, the better. And Honestly, we 
we a lot of times like to go with a best value contractor when we have that um, that flexibility to do so. But either way, whenever we whenever we're deciding who we're going to go with, or even who we're going to send the um, the ITBs out to the invitations to bid. Um, a lot of times those lists come from the people, the subcontractors that that again are responsive, but also who we know we can count on to have a complete scope and and just be very specific in the proposal so that if there is something that that they're not picking up, that they're very clear about that so that it helps us on our end make sure that we don't have any scope gaps and that we're covered. Got it. Got it. That's helpful. Um, we had a client that uh, had attended the sandwiches last year, and they um, and so they were asked to, um, uh, you know, uh, pre-qualify as a potential subcontractor slash vendor. Um, but it seems as though they have dropped off of your system. Is there any reason for that? When you say pre-qualified, what do you mean? In other words, they signed up to be, they went through the process to become a subcontractor with DPR. And so they uh, submitted all their documentation and they were, you know, like, for lack of a better word, approved. And then for whatever reason, they dropped off of your system. And I'm wondering if you um, I not articulating myself. Are you, are you saying that they are not receiving invitations to bid or they're no longer pre-qualified with DPR? No longer pre-qualified with DPR. Pre-qualification with DPR is required annually. So if they did it one year, they have to they have to do it annually. And then also with COVID-19, we did a special review this year. So they also had to respond to that as well in order to remain qualified. So if they did not do those steps, then they will no longer be qualified. Okay. So there was one time thing that might have um, uh, disqualified them. Um, Deidre, do you want? Yes, please just get with me, um, like send me a message and I can research it for you and find out what the next steps that they need to do. I can help okay. you with that. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I have another question. I'm with Loopston, a woman-owned residential and commercial contractor. We provide construction, engineering, and equipment procurement. The team has a strong background in construction projects throughout Texas. So, um, with that, I have all our questions. Do um, you have anything else, Gabriela? No, I mean, this is great. This is amazing. Uh, I want to thank the PR for bringing your whole team and for people to come in and introducing themselves. I do want you guys to follow up with them if you want to learn more about the different projects. You will definitely going to receive this PowerPoint presentation. Uh, does anybody else, uh, DPR, would you like to say like any last word before we um, leave? Um, yeah, just anybody that's interested in getting pre-qualified and getting on our bid list, uh, my email is right there, so just send me an email and I'll, I'll get you started on that process. Great, this is great. So we know it's Jacob who we need to like reach out to. He's a person. What about you, my guy? Any other words? Just thank you guys. We appreciate these connections that we do every year with you guys. It's just extremely important for us to maintain the relationship. So we look forward to doing it again. Well, hopefully next year in person. So, I know. <laughs> <Hopefully so. laughs> all right, guys. Have a good day then. Talk right. to you guys thank soon. You. Take care. Bye bye.